Hello everyone, this is Miss Ava Hart and today is Tuesday, <clears throat> November the 10th, 2020 and it is 8.14 a.m. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to complete the constructed response or writing prompt that is due on Friday, November 20th, 2020. First of all, let me get let me begin with your motivation. Hey, black child by County Cullen. Hey, black child, do you know who you are, who you really are? Do you know you can be what you want to be if you try to be what you can be? Hey, black child, do you know where you are going, where you're really going? Do you know you can learn what you want to learn if you try to learn what you can learn? Hey, black child, do you know you are strong? I mean, really strong. Do you know you can do what you want to do if you try to do what you can do? Hey, black child, be what you can be. Learn what you must learn. Do what you can do. And tomorrow your nation will be what you want it to be. All right, so I'm going to show you how to complete the constructed response, what it would look like or what it should look like if you follow the directions and if you watch the instructional video. So the directions are as follows. You must watch the instructional video to gain access to the short story. In order to, know, in order to have access to the short story and to be able to get your textual evidence, you must watch the instructional video. Write a paragraph describing how the author vividly characterizes the town of Winesburg throughout the passage in a way that makes it easy for the reader to understand why George is choosing to leave. Use evidence from the passage to support your response. I explained the writing prompt in the instructional video, so I'm not going to go over that here. I explained it in the instructional video that you are required to watch. The paragraph is already written for you as explained in the video. You are responsible for filling in the blanks. You will not know how to fill in the blanks if you do not watch the instructional video. If your paragraph does not look like this with the blanks filled in, I will return it to you to complete again. So all I'm going to do is fill in the blanks. I'm not going to explain anything. Because if you watch the instructional video, you will know what each sentence in this paragraph is for and what it does. So all I'm going to do is complete this paragraph so you know what the finished product should look like when you submit it on February 20th, not February, when you submit it on Friday, November 20th, 2020. All right, you can submit it on or before Friday, November 20th, 2020. I'm just going to show you what it should look like.
I'm not spelling that right. I had to spell check that. All right. <clears throat> Let me spell check. Because I'm not spelling aesthetically correctly. Weinsberg is spelled correctly, so I ignore all. Ignore all. Yes. Aesthetic. Oh, A E S T H. Okay. So let me change it. All right. Let me continue working. There should be no, none, no misspelled words because you are typing this on a word program and it will grammar check and it will spell check for you. So it should be no, no misspelled words. All right, so I'm done. I'm going to double space this. I'm going to double space it and make it bigger. So you can see better format this. Let me double space it. And I have followed the directions. So in, in Departure by Sherwood Anderson, he vividly characterizes the town of Winesburg throughout the passage in a way that makes it easy for the reader to understand why George is choosing to leave. To begin with, the town of Winesburg is described as hot summers when the road and the fields are covered with dust. A smoky haze lies over the great flat basin of land. Based on this description, I understand why George wanted to leave for the reason being during the summer months. The landscape was flat, dusty, and dry, not particularly aesthetically appeasing to a young boy growing up. Secondly, Winesburg can be described as Butch Wheeler, the lamplighter of Winesburg, hurrying through the streets on a summer evening and holding a torch in his hand. This further supports why George wanted to leave even more because during the summer, the most exciting event that took place was... Let me change that. The most exciting event that took place was Butch Wheeler lighting the street, the street lamps at night. That had to be rather boring for George to endure growing up. Finally, in Departure by Sherwood Anderson, he vividly characterizes the town of Winesburg throughout the passage in a way that makes it easy for the reader to understand why George is choosing to leave. This is what I expect to see when you turn in your constructed response on Friday, November 20th, 2020. I did exactly what the directions told me to do. You are not allowed to use my example if you watch the instructional video as you listen to me read the text and explain my annotation marks. You will get plenty Plenty of reasons why George wanted to leave Winesburg. So make sure you watch the video because that's where you'll have access to the story. So you can write down um, the textual evidence that you want to use in your, in your response. So make sure you watch the video. This is how, this is how your paragraph should look when you complete it and, and submit it on Friday, November 20th. 2020. Notice that um, I proofread. Notice that um, there are no misspelled words and there are no red marks because I use my Word document to spell check and to proofread and that's what I expect you to do. All right, so that's it. This has been Miss Averhart and this video has demonstrated to you 
how to complete the constructive response or writing prompt that is due February 20th. Why do I keep saying February? That is due Friday, November 20th, 2020. So that is all for today. I will see you on the next video. And what I'm going to do with this particular video, I'm going to do a live call and I'm just going to play this video. So you can watch it and see how to complete the constructive response. So I will talk to you later. Have a great, fantastic, productive day.